first thing I'm going to do then is to uh, deepen up the darker elements within the painting, get more depth into my darks. So I'm just going to bring this nice rich dark, which is a mixture of Payne's grey, a bit of neutral tint, some of the purple, more purple here at the bottom, pretty strong. Just bring that in down the bottom there. We'll have some of that in this doorway. I'm putting this on fairly thickly. Keep the bottom step at about the same height on that side and that side. And then I need to do the same in my kind of window area. These little details. Just soak some of that up. Let's bring some of that richer red, orangey brown at the bottom here. Just to uh, kind of change in that doorway. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring some again of that dark, but with my rigger in under this balcony and start to get this balcony a bit stronger on this left hand side. Detail this up a bit more. Get some of these architectural elements to show up. goes up the side of the balcony. Not really sure where it goes there. We'll just put some verticals just to show the balcony's got some shape to it. Give it a bit of an edge. These darker elements come down a bit lower. And then there's some dark, very dark kind of decorative elements here, which we'll get in. Really nice and strong. Some of the detailing around the, around the doorway. Again in the very dark color. Some really nice strong darks around the door here. Coming across just some random abstract shapes across here just to make it feel architectural without really painting too much there. Just some darker shapes. Just want to darken up this side of the painting more. Coming in here, darken that up. Much browner. windows. A bit more detail in here. A few architectural pieces there. Going to darken up, in fact I'll just darken up the whole of this middle section I think. Make that whole balustrade much darker. And 
then I'll take that same dark, run that into part of this window here. Gives the impression of some elements in that window that run through. some curtains or some dark shapes, some more brown, a bit more brown on this edge. here so it's still dark but a bit browner a bit more of a rusty colour and then go into my rigger I'm gonna mix up a slightly lighter grey now so a bit more water in it Oops. plenty of water in it so that I can bring in some of these verticals again a few more horizontals on the edge of this wall which kind of comes up bring a few of those darker marks just into this brickwork here run that through into this window a few more of those vertical horizontals a little bit of a wibbly wobbly line but never mind Try not to paint my figure out. A little bit darker there. So I've got some horizontals here, so I'm just going to use the rigger just to press rather than try and draw the line. in there, darker bit of the balustrade there, <clears throat> again a bit more brown into that same grey mix, continue that through, down to the bottom of this balustrade. Going to mop up some of these bigger blobs of paint. So they don't run. up a stronger green, limey green, turquoise. So plenty of the cerulean blue. So it's cerulean blue and the lemon yellow or the yellowy colours. And I'm going to get some of that into underneath my awning at uh, balcony here. Going on this side just to show some of that shape up. Bring some of that same colour 
in here, coming down the wall. Run that into my horizontal bricks. just spray that a tiny bit probably too much never mind get some of this in some of these marks coming round the ornate top and again on this side is a bit of an ornate top in there <clears throat> some more verticals <clears throat> let's put some at the bottom of the window on the inside here Some of this similar green around this door, particularly near the red, because that would be quite nice. A few bits of green there. <clears throat> A bit more yellow in that, I feel. Make it a little bit lighter. Some of that on the bluer side. Some of these yellowy, yellowy greens over here. A bit around the window. Darks on the balustrade here while that's drying. I'm going to get a bit of colour now onto my figure and these are going to be wearing a dark top I'm going to put that in my burnt sienna colour it's a very browny orangey red just to keep the colours harmonised so we've got coming across the back, that's the arm, into the body there, then underneath the balcony, have a little bit of colour coming down, there, on this side we're going to go with ultramarine, so they're wearing an ultramarine top this person, so we've got the shoulders, body coming across there, a bit more Payne's grey in the background. So we've got another little figure here, there. <clears throat> a 
just mop up some of these <clears throat> large bits of colour <clears throat> and mix up a fleshy tone with some alizarin and a bit of the yellow ochre I'm going to put a piece of that and it will bleed into the top but that's fine so we've got a face here there's another face over here some more little faces there we'll give this person a hand a bit of an arm some dark, just some dark trousers on this one. Not really sure what's going on there, but we'll just put some darks. Just using some Payne's grey. Break up the shapes. Keep it quite abstract. Take some more of that neat Payne's grey. I'm going to put a few marks into this window to suggest some furniture or something in the room. Perhaps there's a, a window that's open. more of that nice dark grey have a little bit of that continuing through into this window dark under here link that together put a bit of blue in that a few little ornate elements using very dry paint here so this is just dipping the brush into very neat paint that I squeezed out of the tube and putting it on very dry so there's very little water in it which is why it's sort of giving these drag nice draggy marks okay and then on the this window do some of that with the brown so again, very little, very little water in the paint and just kind of drag it over the window frame to give the suggestion of um, the framework. And it kind of comes down to some rusty areas. into a panel and kind of comes up the side of the window so we'll just continue that same scene through here so the window carries on up and then out of the picture some horizontals verticals to create the window Take some more of that dark grey and get a bit stronger dark marks in this window or this doorway I should say just to detail it up a bit more and break that up make it into a pattern
panel of some description that comes across. It's a nice dark and comes down the center. Just detail up the panel at the front very lightly. <clears throat> Some nice dark bits on here, a bit brown I feel. Coming down, again this has got a panel on it. <clears throat> so by using the paint very dry, it doesn't bleed very much or at all on dry paper. So then I can actually create some of these nicer, nice strong marks. And also get some of these breaks within the paint. Adds a bit of interest. A bit darker down there. Gonna do a bit more dry brushing with a, a bit of Payne's grey with a bit of yellow in it just to darken up these top sections a bit more of these windows just to get a bit more tone up there still a little bit too light just darken those up a bit more almost as if they're uh, windows a bit darker here bring a few of these darks into this window at the top a bit more Payne's grey again with the lemon yellow or the cabin yellow, whichever you want to use. Still pretty dry. Still just darkening up the top of the top of the painting there. And again, I'm going to do a bit more of that on this side. Just leaving some of the wash. So quite abstract, really, just abstracty painting. Make these uh, figures stand out a bit more. Yellow. And darken up under here. A bit stronger needed. Underneath this railing. There. Some of those marks and then strengthen up this window or opening I should say. There's some pots either side on that one. Link that together. A bit more on here. A few of these darker marks up in here. Very dry brush now. Get a few darks into this balcony shape. It's just that. And then it's much darker under there. Darker dips and dots there and there, here and there, and around this window, this doorway, I should say. Make this a bit stronger. A 
So we've got these little diamond, almost diamond section pieces of dark. <clears throat> Worried about them being too accurate. Just want to uh, get some dark on this right hand side. Just keep this quite abstract actually. Just some darks there. And then maybe we'll get a few more stronger marks underneath our vehicle. Detailing up the exhaust pipe near the wheel, underneath the vehicle, up there. That's the front. We've actually got a curb running through there. <clears throat> and then I need some of the limey, lemony yellows. So back to the blue and the cerulean, cerulean and the yellow together. Quite cerulean y. So lots of blue in it. some of that through this window here. Some little pieces of that in the brickwork. And I'm gonna darken up this window here. Get a bit brown, I feel. So doing this on dry, dry paper. So just a dark shape there. Just a little bit of detail through there. Gonna bring a greeny, greeny grey now. Very washy through my doorway in a broken fashion. So I don't want to lose all of this nice colour that I've got underneath. Can leave some of it broken through it, showing through, but just so I can lose some of the um, some of the uh, these shapes here a bit darker there greeny greys coming down the wall into here down to the step <clears throat> along the step maybe continue that over there more of a blue in that greeny grey I put a bit of that through this section just to darken this up a bit more it's a bit too light some of these pieces of color up here are just too light I'm just going to knock them down with some of this bluey gray just to push 
it back a bit. Maybe a little bit into this section here. Lose some of these lights by to pieces. Still leaving some of the pinky colours to show through. Keep the continuity, but just bringing some of those blues in there just to darken it up a bit. So I'm just going to start to put in some little bits of finishing detail now. So on my car, a little bit more red, just in places. Make it stand out a bit more. Just neat out of the tube, it's cadmium red. Just to get it to stand out a little bit stronger. <clears throat> nice and strong. Maybe the odd bit of red here and there in the, uh, just to link it. A couple of bits here and there. Changing now to an orangey color. Like a rusty, rusty yellow. So quite a strong yellow. So again, straight out of the tube, bring some of this into this balcony. I'll get this a bit stronger through here. Get that balcony to stand out a bit better. The odd vertical. on the balcony. A couple of little bits and pieces there. Maybe the odd horizontal, vertical. A few little bright spots there and there. Maybe this has got a bit more colour in the uh, The, um, ornate gilding bring some of that in This time, neat cerulean blue. So straight into the tube again. And use this, bring some more blues into these areas. Almost using it like a shadow colour there. Bit stronger. Start to get the also need to start to get the um um some of the foliage on. I'll do that now. So dipping into some neat yellow, neat cobalt, mix those together. <clears throat> to make 
a green colour. Have some of that on the balcony here. That's growing underneath it. Just tilt it down a bit so the glare goes off a touch. Maybe a bit more here. Greens over here. <clears throat> Some nice greens on these balconies. Maybe we'll have some greenery coming down that edge. Perhaps the odd piece in here. I need a little bit of a grey wash. A very light grey wash, grey brown wash. <clears throat> Through some of this area. Let's get some of this a bit darker. Around our little shapes. Again, doing this on dry paper so that I can control the wash, leaving some of the lighter colours still showing through. So we're doing it to just be a flat, flat, flat wash. balcony in and then a few more slightly darker washes under here just to take the tone down a bit on this area coming down this edge as well a bit darker of pieces of brickwork or plaster missing up here so we'll just pop in some dark bits and the odds dark a bit over here not really trying to paint bricks just indicating some broken color to break the mass up <clears throat> and then to finish up just with a rigger just a few little wires so very nice and dark a little bit runnier so we've got plenty of like little wires and things hanging so perhaps loop some of those from one side to the other <clears throat> and we've got some wires running through there. Perhaps the old wire coming down. few more windows in here just to 
darken this up a bit more. A little bit of shadow under this box that's on the wall. So I've just put a little bit more red in the top left hand corner in the darks and just a bit, a bit more white here and there just to finish it off. And I think that will probably do it.